Welcome to raigurukul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about numpy binary operations. So, if you don't know about numpy, Python, please watch my previous session so that you're able to understand each and everything in detail. And if you're not yet subscribed this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with binary operations in numpy it acts on a bits and perform bit by bit operations binary operations simply a rule for combining two values to create a new value we'll discuss here about numpy bitwise and numpy bitwise or numpy bitwise xor numpy inward numpy left shift numpy right shift and numpy repr that is represent binary form of the input number as a string so by using example of each and everything we'll discuss here in detail so let's understand what is numpy bitwise and this function is used to compute the bitwise and of two array element wise this function computes the bitwise and of the underlying binary representation of integer in the input arrays so let's create one program where we will import here numpy library and we'll assign here as a name np so first number we are going to declare as a num equal to 5 then num b equal to If I want to print this value, I need to direct call it or you can provide some variable or some text as well. But as of now, I am calling the value just it. So print num print num b and for performing an op output operation, we have to declare one variable as well. So, res response number equal to np dot bitwise bitwise underscore and here we'll give both the numbers then num comma num b now we are done let's print this value as well so print here as a output of bitwise and so it will print response num let's run this and see the result now you can see here we are getting first number num num b and response num equal to np bitwise of and will print only value number one so that's how it will work because bitwise operator and will print the specific integer into integer array if we are performing a array into some order where we can provide with the array value 
we can also call it but that will also print the last one let's understand the bitwise or so bitwise or we just have to change instead of and we can give or and rest other is same let's run this so or will print either 5 or 7 and this will print second value now we can also implement this example with the value of array and inside that that will print second array value now let's change this to x or and run the code we'll get here first value second value here because we are printing num num b because this function is used to compute the bitwise xor of two array element wise this function computes bitwise xor of the underlying binary representation of integer into input array so we'll definitely get the difference of 5 and c1 that is 2 at the response num so let's uh, for removing confusion let's print with some text result of x or or is no comma space now we can see here the 2 is printed now let's jump to numpy invert this function is used to compute the bitwise inversion of an array element wise it computes the bitwise not of the underlying binary representation of the integer in the input array for sign integer inputs the two's complements is written in the two's complement system negative numbers are represented by the two complements of the absolute value so let's say input is having num5 and we want to print this value with invert so here np dot invert Because in what we are using here, here for single number, that's why it is showing an error. So it will print the first value XOR and P dot in what in addition of inversion minus 11 because it is working with an array order. Same way we can implement for the arrays with the arrays value but as of now we are speaking skipping because we have another example is fading for us. numpy dot left shift this function is used to shift the bits of integer of the left the bits are shifted to the left by appending array zeros at the right of the array 1 since the internal representation of the number is in binary format this operation is equivalent to multiplying array 1 by 2 into array 2 so let's understand this with the help of this example so bit shift if we want to give here shift of 2 now we want to print the first value and shift value so here we are giving as shift but in this 
we want left shift so left and the data we want to print here as a num comma shift and the result will show now when we'll run this you can see your left shift is done it means the multiplication of these two number twice because of that we are getting the result 20 so this is how it works with the left shift let's run for right shift as well this function is used to shift the bits of integer to the right because the internal representation of number is in binary format so this equation is equivalent to dividing an array by 2 into into array 2 so let's understand with the help of an example where we want to see the result of right shift so here we are using the same value but in place of left we are changing as a right so right shift will give an idea of getting in response so you can see here it is dividing the number post shifting so that's how the binary operation will work we have other one more sample that is numpy binary representation where number and bit equal to none so this function is used to represent a binary form of the input number as a string for negative number if width is not given a minus sign is added to the front if width is given the two complement of the number is returned with respect to that width in two's complement system negative numbers are represented by the two complements of the absolute value this is the most common method of representing signed integer on computers so let's run this and see the result if we have the value num equal to 5 and we want to print the num first and then binary representation we will need here the representation and the number let's print this value now you can see here we are getting a response of 52101 because it's a binary representation of the value 5 that is 101 so that's how it works binary operation in python numpy hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session consider sharing within your circle thank you for watching